Tuesday, the, 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 the employer came with a revised offer of 7%. Initially, they their initial offer was at 4.7%. So on Tuesday, they revised it to 7%. We took it as unions that are that are, are, are in the negotiations. We took the offer as such. Our National Executive Committee met and looked at the offer and uh, gave the negotiators the mandate to go back and negotiate for more. And in the meantime, the members of the NEC were going to take the offer to the membership on the ground. So we are expecting to meet with the employer this afternoon to say we would like a slightly better offer because our initial offer, our initial demand was 10%. So we want something that is closer to that. Let us look at some of the aspects that the members have had to grapple with in 2020. Number one, in terms of no increases that were received, members still had to go back to work when we were in the confines of our homes. That meant that they had to pay for transportation costs. Number two, members in the face of not receiving an increase were faced with being blacklisted. Members had to face the real effects of losing their homes, having their cars repossessed and many other factors. So who then takes the brunt and who bears the responsibility of our public servants not being able to give effect to the normal total cost of living scenarios and everyday living when these are elements that they are really having to face with. Albeit the trauma of uh, the, the, the COVID pandemic and many other factors that have to be taken into account. So all we are saying is be sympathetic towards their cause as well. They had saved lives during a time when there was total uncertainty, they themselves have to face the reality of having to catch up and having to catch up very badly because we have seen the effects of food, we have seen the effects of fuel rising, and more importantly, with ESCOM now, uh, NERSA just approving uh, just over 18% in terms of tariff increases. So how do you expect public servants to be able to survive when these are the realities that have faced them. So it is nothing to be unreasonable about. We are only asking for the bare minima in order for them to survive.